And shout is not my girl. I ain't never been my girl. Is my side bitch. Ooh. It's your what? You know, my it's side your bitch. What? Yo, what's up, y'all boys? Welcome back to the podcast. And today, man, we finna be talking about the baby situation, you feel me? But all the facts and receipts and everything you need to know, you feel me? I'm coming in unbiased, as you know, in this ch- in this podcast. That's what we do. We give unbiased opinions. So it's got to be unbiased opinions. I got today to show y'all, I got the uh, Instagram live of the baby, and I got an Instagram live of uh, Danny Lee. So we don't have both of their sides of the story. And... I'm going to tell y'all my opinion, and I got the test receipts of what went down. So, with that being said, let's hop right into the footage. I try to position yourself in a career through a child turning out. One of the, a, a good example of a black father being tore down, we ain't doing that. We ain't, we ain't about to let that be misrepresented out here. You know what I'm saying? We not, we not doing that. I know it's plenty. Plenty of niggas that look up to me. You get what I'm saying? They tell me all the time, as far as like how I deal with what I gotta deal with, and still handle my business to take care of my kids, like how my daddy deal with me. You see what I'm saying? So, ain't no way we going out like that and letting this get misrepresented. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I take pride in that. We gonna hold that down. This is what it is. I got my personal assistant right here, like, you know, and I ain't one to bring nobody down or none of that shit to lift myself up or clear my name. I really just, I'm the type of nigga like I take my lick, keep my mouth shut, you know. But with my kid, you know, as a father, my integrity as a father get played with, you know. As as a man, I got to clear the L. First of all, me and Danny Lay is not together. Do I act like we're together? No. Do I make it openly clear that we're not together? We are not going steady. Have not been, that's not what's going on. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost. So, hmm, interesting, right? So, the baby, I might not say claims he, they're not together because if if a relationship is a two, two, two-sided road, you feel me? If both of you are not in agree, if one person say they're not in a relationship, that means the relationship is not a relationship, you feel me? You need to be, you know what I'm saying, conjoined to be a relationship, you feel me? So, but that being said, the baby said they're not together, all right? Just y'all keep that in note because for the future, you feel me? Because I heard she was talking about that they were together and they've been together for like a long ass time. But apparently they're not because if he said they're not together, they're not together because you can't have a relationship with one person. You feel me? And my bad if I'm talking fast or stuttering. Y'all know I be fucking up sometimes, bro. It's a southern accent in me, but y'all get the gist of what I'm saying, man. You gotta have two people for a relationship. You can't be in a relationship with yourself. It doesn't make sense. She does not live with me. When did she get here to where we at? A week ago, you see what I'm saying? She's here with two suitcases. She does not live in She's been supposed to go back. Been trying to get her stuff sent here, trying to move in. No, been made a clip and looked the dead in the eyes at calm, mature conversations. I know this is not what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, we ain't gonna do it like this. Hey, I care about my kids for real. My kids ain't no marketing schemes. You don't have a baby with me and plans don't go as planned and you don't go out with a bang it's cool i'm gonna pause it real quick because i wanted to say something this real you know what i'm saying that just clicked in my brain a lot of uh celebrities have went through this um if y'all remember lonzo ball with his uh baby moms the same situation if you guys ever watched ball and family back in the day you feel me um he went through this situation where she couldn't accept that they just weren't together you know what i'm saying she can't accept that he broke up with her, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to take it somebody else, but it's not clicking my head. But this re- relates to the Lonzo situation for me because the baby just wants to be a dad, you feel me? He wants to co-parent, but Danny Lee doesn't want to co-parent. She she wants to be together, you know what I'm saying? And she's not, uh, I guess she's not reading a room that he just wants to co-parent and not be together same thing happened with lonzo with uh with his with his old girl 
You feel me? And he had to, and they in the blew up like this, similar to this, not as, you know, Instagram Live, but that shit, but it, it blew up to where, you know what I'm saying? She was saying he was a bad father and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all got to be crazy. Y'all got to be careful. My bad. Y'all got to be careful of who y'all have kids with and who y'all have. You feel me? That's why I don't have sex with, with this any old girl, with any old t- skeezer. Because you could have sex with a crazy girl like this, have a child with her. And they would, these some of these crazy women use babies as leverage. You feel me? So, y'all just be careful out there, you feel me? You feel me? Learn, learn from, learn from these people's mistakes so you don't have to do them yourself. You feel me? Just learn from these people's mistakes. That's all I, that's all I gotta tell y'all. Be my guest, but when it, when it get blown all the way up into something like this, like you tripping, you know what I'm saying? I got you almost forcing me to where I gotta, you know what I mean? Where I gotta potentially put your business out there. To, the clear the bullshit that's being thrown out there. Ain't been with me for three months, so boom, we'll make this shit quick. We gon' clear the L, we gon' we gonna keep it moving, cause I got my people, they waking up, pulling up on me, my sister, she pulling up on me like, no, you need to say something. Like, you gotta say something. Like, this ain't something you can just sit back and let, you know what I'm saying, let go the way it go, cause it's, you gotta say something. And they only saying this cause they done been around it, you know, so boom. Maybe three months in, right when she's about to be born, I flew out to DR. I ain't put it on the internet. I ain't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't about that with me. It's about the kid. You know, the kid's supposed to be mine. I'm there. That's just all I know. I'm a stand-up nigga. That's all I know. So, I go out to DR. We out in DR. Everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do. I come out there. I'm waiting on the baby to be born. I get my mama a flight. My mama getting ready to come out there. So once the baby born, my mama can see the baby when she born. We come out to DR. We see the hospital. We see this and that. I'm already like, ah. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't really want, you know, no child. I'm, you know, this is what it is, but it's a different country. So, you know, it's cool. I'm still, I'm rocking to whatever beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking to whatever beat. I just want to pause real quick to say, it's crazy. Niggas is taking vacations to have, like, what? Like, so, bro took his girl at the time, I guess you would say, to DR to have a baby. Niggas is taking their they wives and girlfriends to different countries to have a baby. I don't know, bro. This shit just seemed kind of foreign to me. I just want to make take that. That's just a small detail, but... It's just some shit I never really heard of before. And second of all, this nigga is smacking the fuck out of that gum right now. That shit is crazy. It's fucking my ears up. But I'm going to try to fight through it. You know what I mean? I didn't, you know, I got the child on the way. I'm stepping up. However it go, that's how it go. The child being born in DR, whatever. Shout it gets into it with her parents. While I'm out there in DR, me and my assistant. All right, so I'm going to pause real quick. Um... So, apparently, the story is that her and her family is on bad terms. So, I'm assuming right here, this is my first time watching it, guys, because, you know, I like to have a gen- genuine reaction with you guys as well and a genuine opinion without, you feel me, being, I don't like that scripted shit. Like I said on this, this podcast, we like it raw, you feel me, raw type shit. But, uh, so, apparently, her, her she be for her family or some shit, and I guess she about to explain the situation because it never hit the internet because, like, like he said, he has, you feel me? He a solid nigga. He don't really like to bring beef to the internet type shit. So let's hear what he got to say about that situation. When we out there, they got their whole thing going on. That ain't my business to be telling y'all. It ain't, you know, that's not my business to be telling y'all. You get what I'm saying? Long story short, they get into it. Me and my assistant, I took my assistant to book the jet for the following day so we can get up out of here. We ain't from here. We don't know what these folks got going on. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. I- oh, okay, y'all. Uh, I, I stand corrected. I believe Danny. Hold on. Let's let's be 100% correct before I say some crazy shit. No, shut up. Shut up.
Okay. All right, y'all. So yeah, that's incorrect. It. They went to Dominic to the Dominican Republic because Danny Lee's family is from the Dominican Republic. Okay, so disregard what I said earlier about uh people flying their significant others to other countries to have babies. They went out there because she's her family's her. Yeah, her family's from the Dominican Republic. I ain't know that, so that's my bad on that. I come back, take care of my baby once she get here. Right now, we gotta go. My sister and I, you do not need to leave her in that house, though. You do not need to leave your baby out here. Not need to leave your baby out here. I'm like, nah. Put the jet. From that night to the next morning while we waiting on the jet to be a shout out. Calls my phone, call my assistant phone, her mama, DMing my camera, man, calling and texting my assistant. Her mama, them trying to control her, trying to keep her over there. She trying to run away with me. I'm not trying to have nothing to do with none of this shit. I'm just trying to take care of my baby when he get here and make sure my baby gonna be straight when she get here. I'm not trying to have nothing to do with nothing. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have nothing to do with nothing. I'm just trying to step up to the plate as a man and take care of my baby. No matter how I ended up having a baby, it's a blessing to me to just, you know, this time set up as a man. You know what I mean? She called me 150 times. I'm like, nah, you need to stay here with your people. You need to, you know what I mean? Yeah, you need to work out what you got going on. All this shit is on, you know, all this shit on record because Shawty, you know, that's how Shawty, Shawty go all out with shit. Like, Shawty will text me 100,000. This shit really is deep. You get what I'm saying? But that's what I'm in. That's what I'm it's my reality. It's what, I'm, it's what I'm mixed up in. So I got to stand on the business and still be there and take care of the child. But, you know. So I'm like, nah, you need to stay here. You need to stay here, Shawty. It's real deal. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, Shawty packed her shit and pulled up to the hotel we was at with her shit. And, you know what I mean? Like, this shit get deep now, you know. With her shit in the car. My sister and I don't leave her like she, she's calling my phone saying she don't feel safe if she stay here, had a kid out here, she don't want to have a kid out here. So me being the, the good hearted nigga I am, you get what I'm saying? I say, okay, fuck it. Come on, get on the jet. I call a private doctor. They had the baby. She had the baby. They delivered the baby in America the next day. As soon as the jet landed, delivered the baby safely. You know what I'm saying? Way better, way better hospital conditions, all that. And then I'm making sure that she's set up with everything she need. I go get everything. I go get everything, you know, everything. Anything a baby can possibly have, I go get it. I set it up at the penthouse down here in the city. But I'm making shit clear. That I'm making shit clear. Right here, you go, here. Here you go, that's cool. But I'm making shit clear. That I'm making, and, look, ahead, and it's the but... thing. Uh oh, boy. This. This joint is crazy, boy. Yeah, I seen that. She popped up. She popped up like they did in Slenderman. You feel me? Y'all played the Slenderman game back in the day when that motherfucker used to pop up behind you. You seen that? She, yeah. Nah, she fuck. She act. She, she looking real crazy right now. That I'm not taking no sides yet. I'm just saying from the from the baby's point of view, she sounded real crazy and delusional. You know what I'm saying? But like I said. I just want to make it clear. I'm not taking no sides. I'm not saying the baby's right. I'm not saying Danny Lee's wrong. But so far, she's looking real psychotic. Everybody, go ahead. Clear and your I'm, and I'm glad y'all know. Here. Go ahead. Clear here, here, come here. Come here. And I'm, you're scared. And I'm glad. No, no, I'm not scared. Look, and I'm glad she walked out. So as you can see, nobody was put out. And I'll pause again. Um, Why is she saying he's scared and threatening him? To me, that's a threat. You feel me? The moment he moved the camera away, she got mad close. So when he moved her back, she said, why are you scared? And he got real close. That's a sign that somebody's been hitting. You feel me? Like, especially in uh, domest domestic cases, that's the sign of that there's violence. You feel me? That somebody's getting beat. Not, you get what I'm saying, though. Getting a hit. You feel me? Abused, whatever. And it can be, it can be men. Man on woman or woman on man. Woman on man don't normally get reported and get charged just because we live in 2021. Niggas are simps. And we still view women as the weaker gender. Even though we have all this feminist movement. But that's for another story. But like I said, 
where the the laws for domestic violence and shit and abuse are biased towards women. So the 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 stats are skewed, but it happens on both sides a lot. Men and women, and women and men. So right now it was looking like she was really finna smack the shit out of him, but good thing he got a camera on. You feel me? Oh, and me calling me there. calling the police. Yeah, that's like for my safety, because this what I'm because this what I'm dealing with. Okay. Like, it's a real deal, cuckoo cuckoo. Okay. Look, like, look, look, look. This, look. this is a real deal. Like, shout red flag. Yeah, hey, hey, we back with it. Red flag number two. Red flag number one is when she tried to step real close when that when she when she thought the camera was off of her, and then when she when it came back on and she said he was scared. Red flag number two is when she hit the camera. You know what I'm saying? Let's just, you know saying? Let's just keep watching, though. You feel me? Before I have my final verdict. Started really cuckoo, and she's still here. So nobody was put out. The woman is crazy Nobody was put out. Time. No, this ain't no. The we ain't got to make this a, a sexist thing. I forced him to be with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So and I'm going to pause again. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. And this part, I got to pause. You seen how the sister wrote her eyes, bro? This, this shit right here, even though if something was wrong... Um, if the baby did something wrong, I wouldn't expect his assistant to, you feel me, to take the other side. But, like they say, y'all, most, 90% of communication is nonverbal. The way the assistant just rolled her eyes, you feel me, like, sort of, like, said, like, you can see, like, in her head, she's saying, like, oh, my God, type shit, tells me that these motherfuckers argue a lot, number one, and number two, this is probably always the result. She probably telling the baby just to, you feel me, you gotta, like, in some cases, y'all, you gotta be mean with people to, to get the point across, you feel me, like, I'm pretty sure the baby tried the nicest way before to tell her, we not together, you feel me, blah, 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 and she didn't get the hint until this, this big explosion of bad shit happened, but sometimes it gotta go that way for people to get, to get your point across to people, cause I had to do that before in my life, not with a significant other, but with some family shit, but I had to do that, you feel me, and it had the same result, and you feel me, it blew up, but it got my point across, you feel me, so sometimes you gotta act like real brash to get your point across. Did, ahead, this sister, ain't this ain't this ain't, ain't nothing question. new. This is just me. You know this is just me clearing it up because she not about to tell us. I okay. can show you. I can I show you. You begging me to stay here, so this is not this is not. Talking uh, about you miss me, come back. What you gonna do? All this stuff. Because I already left your ass. You can see. You can see who cuckoo is and who not. Because I'm talking. But this is my thing. This is my thing. They didn't make. They did not make Shawty leave, and somebody need to come make Shawty leave. No, I'm leaving. Please, okay, so but guess what, what I'm guys? saying? I'm somebody, to to my somebody need to make sure they leave. All right, um, I got a comment on this. If you said you're leaving, why didn't you just leave? Why are we still sitting here and arguing, arguing? My bad, y'all, arguing when you could have just left. You didn't have to say nothing to him. You could, if you was gonna leave, why didn't you pack your shit and leave? You feel me? And I understand that emotions get the best of people sometimes, which in this case is evident that it did. But this is sort of egging the situation on when it's looking like the baby wants nothing to do with you, but you want to get on his Instagram live. And I guess you want to defend yourself, but you got your own platform. Danny Lee is not some no name woman or some regular woman she has a big following too she could have get that up, up, across on her platform and just left if she was gonna leave but i don't know that's just what i'm thinking y'all you feel me the house to get my baby's clothes because i only have four outfits for her because i want to leave so stop showing me joe <laughs> you wanted to get on live to talk shit and, and put everybody in our business trying to act like we're not we haven't been together we, we haven't been, been together okay Okay, Jonathan. We haven't been together. You're not. You, you, you don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, this is so funny. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh my God. How you gonna go this by what you dealing me with? In the room right you're dealing with a right real nigga. It's not. Hey, listen, me. listen, listen. Like as if I'm not gonna come out here and talk. I'm gonna oh let y'all see what's going on. Like, oh this is this is my this is my reality. Such a cap ass man. 
This is my reality. This is so such look. a cap ass man. He wants to fuck me and fuck his baby mother and fuck all these Charlotte hoes and fuck all this shit. And me will be okay with that, guys. Yeah, look at the personal assistant, bro. <laughs> She's tired of this shit, bro. I hate people arguing around me. I hate the toxic environment it creates. So I can understand how the people around the baby feel. Because they probably got to go through this shit all the time. But I want to say something. This sort of shit right here, I don't feel, how to say this? I feel, I don't feel that much sympathy for the baby or Danny Lee. I feel worse for the child because, first of all, all of this shit is going to be on the internet forever and people are going to be able to see this and, you know what I'm saying? And two, the baby, oh, the baby, oh my God, I got to say, T-H-E, the baby, you feel me, is going to. Is going to grow up with probably a bitter mother because of shit like this. Saying, you feel me? You know how a lot of us know um, friends that parent that their parents, either dad or mom, said the other parent wasn't shit or whatever, and and use like social media and talk bad about the other parent. You know what I'm saying? Like that seems like it's going towards a toxic parent. Parenthood ship, I guess you would call it. Uh, so, I just hope that down the line, these two can find a middle ground to, you know what I'm saying, respect each other. So, the baby, my bad, y'all. I can't say, so their child can grow up in a, in a positive environment, you feel me? Stress-free environment. I just hope these two can, you feel me, find a middle ground down the road and make the best relationship for the baby. Not saying they have to be together, but, you know what I'm saying, at least be cordial so the baby, so their baby, what the fuck, y'all? Their child doesn't have to deal with this bullshit throughout their life. And me come back and live Can here you stop and stay me? in Can this you stop fucking house me? with our child. I don't want you to stay. I've been okay. begging you to yeah, leave. Yeah, no, you tried and to kick me out This yesterday. one of them real, the this one of them real, the this one of them real movies, yeah. man. Y'all look, look tune, tune in <laughs> and see what we dealing with. Uh -huh, like, for sure. Shout it really cuckoo for Cocoa oh, yeah, Puffs. Really cool. Real cool. life, man. I'm talking for I'm not going. Because you're calling me a fucking crazy ass woman. On the internet trying to make me look bad because your ass was trying to kick me out to go to a hotel with our three month baby. What? All right, I'm gonna pause it right here too. Um, first of all, if it's the baby's uh, property, he has all right to get you the fuck out of there. Number two, you don't have to take your baby. He can. He's a father. He can take care of the baby in his house while you go to the hotel by yourself. So that point, she just said, don't even make sense to me. It seemed like. Like, as y'all can see from the vibe, the body language, the injuries she putting out, it seems like she just don't want to leave. You feel me? She not willing to accept that the baby is not trying to wife her. You feel me? But it is what it is. Hey, like I said, some of these Jones be crazy, y'all. Y'all better. The, the, the male complex always gets me. Uh, we care, not saying individually, cause I'm like, a, I'm like an outlier for this, and a lot of you listening to this might be allies for this, but for the male gender, like, gen general, generally, for the male gender, we care so much about appearance. Y'all, I know so many homeboys that date girls just because she's bad. Like, oh, she might, like, I know a homeboy that dated a girl that had no job, had no whip, no nothing going for her, but she was bad, so he dated her. We are driven so much by appearance. That we get into shit like this, where your shorty, where shorty, a lot of shorty's mentals just not there. You feel me? And you really find out she's crazy when it's too late. So y'all learn from this, from these people's mistakes, especially this mistake, and don't end up in this situation in life. You feel me? Like, please learn from this. I don't want none of y'all to go through this crazy ass toxic bullshit. Listen. What? Listen. You just don't. I got. And I just want to pause again to say, <laughs> I don't pause a lot, but this is like a serious topic and i want to say this too when i say y'all i meant man or female it don't matter it's no gender that applies this applies to both genders females watch out who you and some watch out for these crazy ass niggas as well you feel me and you men watch out for these crazy ass females
I got, I got the entire night. Shout it, can I, can I do my live? No. No, go ahead, do your life. That's why the folks got to come get her out of here, no, man. No, I'm leaving. Trust me, I'm leaving. God. But I need my stuff in your house so I can leave here forever. Why, do you, ever have, ever why do you have Why do you have stuff in my house? I've been trying to what get you, you to leave about? my house for a week. I had a whole closet in your house. No, I can't tell you off. I got to clear this up. So listen. I had a whole closet. I have an underwear drawer, you idiot. I have Somebody a side of the fucking sink in your bathroom. Stop acting like I just came into your life and just fucking, oh my God, you're so funny, bro. This is so funny. How are you gonna go out live with me in the other room thinking I ain't gonna come out and talk? I'm not tripping on you coming out. Why are you still here? You got to leave. This is real life. Where this is not, this not the shit with your My parents. No, I'm let's get you head. one now. Do you need no, help? No, let's get I you a jet. You have to leave. Shawty got to go. Like, what's up? I can't leave. I can't leave. Look at this. I can't leave. I've been sitting up all night. I can't get no sleep. This is. This is get out. This is get out like mixed with. I'm not <laughs> trying to be. Listen. You're not. You're not. He's a great father. Okay. And you know that, Daniel. Okay. He's a great father, right? Okay. He's a great father. Okay. No, he's a great father, right? Sure. She's a crazy bitch. Pregnant. You <laughs> wasn't my. You weren't my girl. I wasn't your girl. Danielle. I wasn't your girl. You ain't you never been my girl. Brother is right there. My Daddy, brother. Call me his girl all the time. Don't Daddy, call me his girl all the time, Darius. Don't Darius, ask your people. Darius, they know me as your fucking Darius, girl. What you what you Not what you know, Shawty is, Darius. Oh my god. <laughs> what you know, Shawty? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> bro, hey, look, bro. This nigga know they had that phone out, yeah, man. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shawty, you know what's funny? Yeah. Yo, nah, bro. That nigga's face was crazy. <laughs> Bro, now nah, that nigga's face is crazy, bro. That nigga said, that nigga had a face like, don't give me any of this shit. You feel me? He had the, I don't want no parts of this shit type of face. But, it says something that they gotta have, they gotta record her from multiple angles. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, y'all. She sounded a little crazy, but we don't get to her side in a minute. But, I ain't gonna lie. So, like, this situation isn't funny, but some of, like, the, I guess the characters in this situation are funny. Like his his motherfucking brother, like a motherfucking NPC. You feel me? That motherfucker is there to be there. Type shit. <laughs> this is some trap. This some trap of black nigga shit playing gone wrong. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah, this is trying to trap a nigga gone wrong. I'm trying not to going. Trap a nigga? Are you crazy? Shout you just it. came at me last night, you idiot. Shout Oof. <laughs> Oof. The baby. You, hey, y'all listen, learn from the baby. Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be fucking these, don't be fucking these, all these thoughts without your, without your, without your safety on, without your hard hat on. You feel me? Don't be, don't be out here, you know what I'm saying? Just, just smashing anything without your safety now. If you living that life, and like I said, I don't live that life for this reason. I don't want to, I don't want to be in a fucked up situation that comes with. But if you choose to live that life, Make sure you always got your safety, your protection. Or you might end up, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just, hey, you heard it for yourself. Always wear your protection, man. You beg me, you be, you, you be just begging me. You last night, you idiot. It's some jail. Hey, somebody tell Mari to call I baby, man. Let me run up a quick 10 M. Yeah, okay. Let me run up, let me run up a quick 10 M. Somebody tell Mari to call yeah, me, man. Let's put this shit on Mars. Shorty is Mars. More material. Get up out my crib. Come no. on, get off my table. No, get off my table. Come out here. Oh my God. Get up off my so table, funny. Shorty. Oh my God, no. No, this shit staying on. Call them people to come get no. Shorty up out my spot. Go ahead. Please, call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Why does she keep referring to this? Why does she keep bringing the child in this situation? The baby is making a situation between her and him, and she keeps bringing the child into this. Like, leveraging the child against him. That's hard to say, oh, what you doing to me right now, you're doing to your child. You feel me? Like, that's the energy I'm getting from her. Like, oh, yeah, he told, like she said earlier, he told me to leave and take me and my child to a hotel. He didn't say nothing about the baby. The baby could have stayed with him. The, yeah, yeah, I get it. The child could have stayed with them. God damn. It's going to be confusing. But... Even with that statement, 
call to call him on your on 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 your baby like what does his child have to do with you being crazy you feel me like i said i'm not taking no sides yet i'm just i'm gonna give my opinion on each of their point of views but i don't know to me it's not making sense oh hey help 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 <laughs> help, hey, help me nigga hey why you sitting there? Do something. Do something. <laughs> do something, bro. And where's my baby? Oh, you don't. You see what I'm saying? Like, Steph, come on. Your baby is sleeping. I just put her through. Go like, back there with, go with her. Go no. with her. See what I'm saying? I'm talking about my business you, my, like that. Girl, like, that is girl. Ain't, them, ain't nobody was a part of my pregnancy. You weren't a part of my pregnancy. You don't need to tell nobody nothing. Fuck. See, she don't want me to put out her real business with her and her family got going okay, on. That's the real cool. issue. That's not nothing to do with us. This girl got a real, okay, you know, a real Matilda story okay. type shit going on, you know. That I tried to save my child from. She got to save her face. Her family got to save her face. My family's not in the industry. Me being in the industry well, that take care of my family, it's a different. Sorry. That's why I didn't want to, hey, look. Right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't, you know. I didn't, I didn't skeet it in the wrong thing. I got yeah. to deal with what come with that. Yeah. But my last name, Kirk, is what I do. Okay. So I take whatever come with that full responsibility. But shout it. It's hey, hey, at least this nigga take responsibility of his actions. You know what I'm saying? At least he, at least he not out here like PJ Washington on Instagram story talk about him as his baby and crying and shit. At least, at least my, at least the, at least the baby say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I fucked up. It's my bad. I gotta deal with it. You know what I'm saying? At least he took full responsibility. I, re I respect him for that. I respect anybody that can take full responsibility of their actions. Because he understood this could be a... Uh, this, he understood this could be an outcome. And you know, feel me? It just ended up being a bad outcome. And he said, you know, take it on the chin and it's his fault. He's not begging for help. He's not crying. None of that. So... I respect him and anybody that takes full accountability. No cap. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. Okay. Shout it is cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. <laughs> and shout is not my girl. I ain't never been my girl. It's my side bitch. It's your what? You know, my it's side your bitch. Shout is a certified. All right, y'all. Red flag number three. Um, you seen how when he said side bitch, even though at this point. Is the baby been a dickhead? Yes. Is he frustrated? Yes. No excuses. You feel me? They both can, from this point of view, he can handle this situation better. But, do y'all see how when he said side bitch, how she almost ran up on him? That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's red flag number three. You feel me? You get a hey, strike one, strike two, strike three, what happened? You out of there. Yeah, she definitely be, you feel me, be slapped. Be hitting on this nigga, bro. No cap. No cap. And how do I, why do I say this? Because I seen this in person. And I seen the signs in person. And I see, you know what I'm saying? This, trust me. I seen this play out in person. I know, I know the signs of when some shit like this is going down. My side, bitch. Not, not, not. It's fucking embarrassing me like that. Shawty is a certified side, Shut bitch. Up. Just trying to act like she No, let, let's no, take it down. Her parents know she's my side bitch. Everybody knows she's a side bitch. She don't want y'all to know she's a side bitch. She got to save her face. She got to crash all the way out. Call them folks. Save me. Help. You see how Charlie went storming off when that truth came out. Listen, so let me finish telling y'all what I'm telling y'all. It's me with all that. I'm not going. I had to show y'all, I'm not going to shout it crazy. I'm not going to be the one to, mm, to play that game, you see what I'm saying? But I'm going to take care of them kids. And if this will come with it, this will come with it. But shout it being obsessed with my other baby mama. Stalking, stalking my, my first baby mama, got them interfering with the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm raising my child. My oldest child, like, that shit burned out, you know. I'm a grown man with standards, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man with standards. And regardless of how shit play out, you know what I'm saying, and what situation I'm put in, I'm going to stand on the business. And me standing on the business means 
me doing everything to take care of a kid, cool. If the mama is set up the way the mama set up, that's my work. I got to put in. That's my responsibility. You know, I'm the one got myself into that. So I got to, you know, I got to deal with that accordingly. But at the same time, we not going for, we not going for none of that. For that shit turning into me getting accused of this and looking like that. No. The police got called because Shorty was in here. Because Shorty was in here running around both doing crazy us? shit. Hitting. You want to fuck both of us. See what I'm saying? Like, okay. this is not. Okay you are not my girl. Like, you got to okay, look at Shorty. I'm going to post everything since we've been post talking. Post it. I, I'm going to listen. That's cool. Ago, post it. And I'm not your girl. Post Masterpiece. What the fuck? It. Why the fuck would you have me in a video? Okay, whatever. Fuck. Whatever, bro. Why would you have me around your family? Whatever, bro. Why would you have me in your house? Why would you have me have a closet in look your home? Look at this storm and back Why would you have me shit. have a bathroom? Okay, look, we're going to check out right now. I'm, you know, y'all got my perspective. Yeah. I got to get back to pushing yeah, the new project out. That's why. That's y'all be why. good. Go stream. That's look why. like something. That's why. All right, y'all. So. My bad. Hold on. This video. I don't, I don't want to display. All right, y'all. So. Our verdict on that is, you know what I'm saying, on the baby side, the main issues, I'm going to point out the main issues as far as their, their relationship is miscommunication, which is the main, when when it's an issue with any two people or any, you feel me, anybody, it's, that's mainly the issue. It's all, it's 99% of the time a mis, miscommunication or, you feel me, but, but. Y'all, please, y'all. It's, I know when this, and it's frowned upon to ask the question, what are we? And it's like cringy to some people. But if this situation did not give you a reason to ask that question before you get too far deep, you must be out of your goddamn mind. Ask the question, what, what are we? You feel me? Before you go this deep. Having kids, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because now it's a baby in this toxic environment. It's because of a miscommunication between both people. It don't matter what a motherfucker do for you. And I'm talking about the dating world, obviously. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what a motherfucker do for you. But at some point in time, you got to ask that question, what are we? So you don't get... Before you start getting too invested in it, like, she is. Like, she's mind-fucked right now because, yeah, the baby was taking her on vacations, buying her all this shit, blah, blah, blah. But, he had no attention as a wife for her. But, those are signs that, that's usually signs of somebody wants to wife you, correct? So, that's what I always say. Please, just ask what are we, or get a clarification before you go too deep in, because... You could end up in a situation like this, or even worse. So, that's the baby's point of view. So, and y'all, this don't be one of my long, my first longer video in a minute because I have been dropping shorter episodes. But I like to give you that straight quality shit. And the next, well, but what I've been saying, the next video is going to be uh, her point of view of the situation, right here. So, we don't hop right into this one. Fucking cops on me. Look at this. If he wants me to get out of his house, go ahead. Okay, let's just go ahead, baby. Tell him. Tell him. Where's this stupid at? Where's he 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 at? Yeah, whatever. He want to call the fucking cops on me for whatever the f reason. Whatever. Stupid. My three month old baby. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Be sure to like comment and subscribe no i don't need to tell you nothing no nah, you good you i just want to point out right away the the police are going are trying to de-escalate this situation and she's fighting against them um yeah i just want to point that out because all right like if I'm, I'm assuming this happened after the baby's life, but I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me on it. But if you were going to leave, why don't you just leave? Why don't you just, you know what I'm saying, de-escalate the situation? Why are you still 
if y'all get my gist of what I'm saying, this seems like she's stranging this situation out when this shit could be over. You feel me? But. Okay, no, y'all, I'm wrong. This happened before. This happened before the, the baby life that we just seen. So this was when, I don't know if you guys were listening, but he said uh, at three in the morning of that same day, he called the police to get her out. So this is the uh, three in the morning footage. So that's correct. So yeah, so that's this happened before his life. But if you were in somebody else's property and they asked you to leave, you get the fuck out. This natural, this natural property, you don't have a say in if you can stay here or not. And two, why is she? You feel me? Like, why are we escalating this situation? You feel me? Like, we two grown motherfuckers. Like, logically, you feel me? Go through this. Don't, y'all. Just please use y'all brain and think about what y'all are doing before y'all do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I want to say. That's what. That's what the point I'm gonna get across here. Think it. Think about the situation, please. Like, be able to think about the situation and think about the best possible outcome and the best possible way to get to the outcome. And think logically. And no matter what it is, train yourself to be able to do that. Whenever you're angry, sad, whatever feeling, emotions, train yourself to be able to logically go through things and don't lash out and do shit like this situation. You can talk to him because he want to call you guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Ain't nobody need to talk to nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. You just want to hang out. Yeah, whatever. Big ass. Big It's all good. It's all good. Took. Ain't nobody need to talk to nothing. Go ahead. Guys, let me let me let you know real quick what the f*** is up. Because this is the one put up a statement. Ten minutes after the f*** we done got into a fucking argument because he wants to walk into this room talking about oh you need to get out with our three month baby the f I yeah and again and again why does she keep like why does she think her and the baby is a package deal that don't make sense to me you feel me like if he asks you to leave you can leave the baby with him and he can take care of... This is not the baby's first child. He knows how to take care of a, of a, of a child. So, you should have left the child with him. And you went to the hotel. Why does she keep thinking her and the baby is a package deal? You feel me? It's not making sense to me, but... I ain't never addressed no sh I ain't never addressed nothing before. Because I always was like, nah, let me not talk to the internet. Because the internet is always going to make their own story up. Whatever the f they gonna grab a little piece and put whatever story the f they want together, but nah. How how I've been living here for the past three months at his house, at his penthouse, back and forth here and there since my baby was born, and then all of a sudden I cook for this tonight. He wanna come to the crib. I am sleeping in his bed, talking about you need to go. The f you mean I need to go to a five star hotel? Do it. Do it. The f Ain't nobody leaving. And of course, she escalated. And this want to put up a statement talking about, oh, it saddens me that I have a queen to raise. You, you ain't even been here this whole time that I've had this child. You, you want to give cute little conversations talking about you a good dad. You, the, you, you, you a coward. You a coward. You a mother coward. God damn, bro. And it's unfortunate that it's on the fucking internet because, oh, okay, you're the idiot. One minute, 37 seconds later. <sighs> I feel like I need to go on live because at this point, it's already out there and I feel like I'm never going to speak on this shit ever again. And I feel like I might as well just let that go. And I just feel like it's so unfair, this situation, because... This whole time, I've been nothing but straight with this man and tried, tried, you know what I'm saying? Tried nothing but genuine, pure love for this man from the jump, from the jump.
three years ago from the fucking jump. And of course, all this internet bullshit, all this everything always was something in our relationship. And it's definitely unfortunate. We have a child, so it's just like, it's just very unfortunate. But I just, it ain't fair. My whole everything, y'all think I'm a fucking bird because of this man. Like, y'all think I did this and that. Like, nah, it was never that. It was never that. And I ain't here to clear nothing with nobody because I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks about me. But at the end of the day, like, I've never spoken on anything. I've never addressed anything because I didn't want to bring attention to it. But it's always the narrative on what it is because they think this is the type of girl I am and this is not. Nah. So, nah, this is fucked up. And, yeah. And as I said last, from the baby side, y'all make sure communication, first of all, communication is key. And make sure both parties are, is, are on the understanding of where they are in their relationship. You feel me? Make sure your intentions are clear from the start. You know what I'm saying? Like... There's so many cases of this going on where people are just on, you feel me, and, and, and to, going in two different directions, you feel me? Like, if, man, I don't know, but I don't like being a dead horse, but it's simple as this, man. Don't ever be afraid to ask some person that you are seeking out to be your significant other, what are we? You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to avoid you situations like this. She got too deep in. Fell in love with him. Thought, oh, we had a, he had a baby with me. He must love me. He must want to wife me. And it turned out that she was a side chick. And basically, he had an accident, accidental baby. You feel me? Because he don't like condoms, essentially. So, I understand how emotional it could be for her. For reality to hit you so hard. I don't understand it. But, like I said, y'all, just always communicate. Communication is key in this world. If it's one thing you want to learn in this world, it's how to communicate. Because that will save you in a lot of situations. And it also will give you better opportunities in life if you can communicate efficiently. So, that's my message for y'all. Out of nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. And I'm trying so hard to just, I tried to make this work. I tried to, you know, for my baby, the best situation, but this ain't the best situation at all, bro. At all. I deserve so much better. I really do. So I hope God, please, I pray that this is the last situation. This is the last time because it's not it it's not every single time i come back into it it's not it it's love because i completely love that man but it's not it it don't matter how much you love somebody if it if it ain't right it's never gonna be right and when someone's not ready for something it's never gonna be right and you can't force somebody to be ready for something they're not ever gonna be ready for it's okay we're having five six that's the real shit she done said so far if y'all ain't get the message from that, the message is stop forcing shit. You know what I'm saying? If some shit don't work out, it don't work out. Stop trying to make shit work out when it's not meant to be, is what she's saying. And to get that token, that different token is, I'm not saying don't fight for, for your relationship if it's something minuscule, but something as far as two people going in different directions of their lives, and you know what I'm saying, people are just not meshing overall, like completely abstract people, you always arguing, always getting confrontations, let that shit go, it's gonna be better for both of you, you feel me? 
I got a, I'm not going to put my homeboy business out there, but I got a homeboy, I might not say no names, I got a homeboy out there that he has a girlfriend right now that's very toxic, bro. Very toxic. She does a lot of toxic shit to him. And he tell, and every, and every time it happens, that's my little bro, man. That's my little bro. And every time it happens, he, he calls me and tests me and say, what should I do? And I tell him what he should do. And I told him to leave plenty of times, but he does it. And I tell him to do that because I don't want him to end up in a situation like this. You feel me? So maybe one day he'll listen to me, but I want y'all to listen to me. That's to listen to me. That's watching this and. Please take my advice so you don't end up in a situation like this, man. Because I know, like I said, I got a friend right now that's in a situation like this that's still trying to force a relationship that doesn't necessarily work because this girl is crazy. Had the hiccups, but trying to force a relationship that's not going to work because this girl is... What the fuck? Trying to force a relationship that's not going to work because this girl is crazy and the long run is going to crash and burn and it's going to blow up like this if he doesn't listen to me so i won't try to listen to me y'all can just avoid this all this predicament situation and and all you feel me that's my message to y'all because i always want to help y'all boys out and whoever watches me if you're, a, if you're a woman a man a girl a boy well whoever you are i want to help y'all out this when shit is getting real bad and ugly like just separate yourself from it and I go for anything. This fucking baby mother's like, nah. I was brought up different. I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't going. You want me to be okay with certain shit? I ain't going. So, I will get out. I will leave. I don't even have a place in LA no more. I done dropped everything for my baby to have a good life and being a nice for her to know her dad but mm -mm, i would go figure it out like i always have since i've been young never depended on a man never nothing i would figure this shit out so and that's it i'm gonna keep i ain't never buy this shit to the internet but it, i don't give a fuck he want to record me talk about i'm gonna have this then put out a f statement 10 minutes after this shit is going on the f Clout, it's weird, ass man. The f that's some weird ass right there. Like you was planning this. Shit the f so, mm. yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I will. Oh yeah, that's her point. That's her point of view. Um, she didn't really give much details of the situation. It was more of an emotional sort of response to it. But she st still gave out some good messages out there. You feel me? Like, the biggest message of this situation is communication. Make sure you know what you are. If you are together, make sure that is, you feel me, set in stone and is, is like, a a official. You feel me? Like, that's the biggest part, but that's the videos I have for y'all today of this situation, but I do have the receipts, not receipts, I hate saying receipts, that's like some, like, drama patient, but I got, um, screenshots of the messages that they have put up via Instagram story of the situation, so, we will go over those as well right here, we don't, you know what I'm saying, we don't go get the whole situation out of there in one video, you feel me? So, hey, I'm wa walking back to one of the longer videos. Like I said, it's been a minute. So, shit, it's finally a, a topic that I can you feel me, give y'all my advice on and give y'all a long video worth full of information and quality content. So, the baby said, I would like to swiftly remo remove myself from any hostile behavior put on display moments ago. This here thing has gone far enough for Shadi to crash out on her own, and it saddens me because I still got to raise my queen. I still got a queen to raise. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm sort of like skimming over it, but if I miss some words, I, hey, I don't got flat re ass reading compre comprehension, but you feel me? If I skim over some words, it's because I'm just like skimming over it. The last hour has been documented for my safety in business based done based on my reputation but multiple threats of setting up an internet scheme and person refusing to not let me go 
me and somebody here new to recorder. I done been beat on and yelled at and chased like one of them fatal love attraction type girls. But I knew to keep it together. Alright, yeah, like I said, she was giving me signs that she, you feel me, she hit some. And I believe it, but my team will be in contact with any and everybody we're in business with who may have need who may need clarification. End of the day, no big deal. I don't want to be I don't want to charge this person nothing. I just want her peacefully removed, which they need to hurry up as we speak. I ain't even want that behavior on display, but it's okay. Man, this too shall pass. It's all good. My focus right now is solely on this new project. And you know what I'm saying? He got his little tour or whatever. And he says, Hey, Shardy, we're not that way, but it ain't my business. I'm a father first always and always will be. This really me typing too, no PR. And like I said, we talked about the topics in the video, but I just want to state that uh, the baby has been through a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of shit in the recent time. So this motherfucker, especially that, my team would be in contact with anybody we're in business with because he don't want to get canceled again. That's tough. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I just want to give y'all their point of views, written point of views, not your videos. We obviously, we had talked about, you know what I'm saying? And then, her statement is, Hey guys, since baby, the baby, DA baby, wants to put up a statement with his cap as I put mine up here. So, we've been living with each other for the last few months since our baby been born doing us, and tonight... He want to come in the room, talk about I need to go. Don't don't matter where I go, mind you. He said a five star hotel. So okay, my bad. I'm just gonna read it first and talk to y'all. I'm bugging. Mind you, I have a newborn, so he said I could go to a hotel. This man is mad because I had a plan B sent to his condo because all he wanted to do was blink splash in me when it was my stability. Obviously, he probably wants me out so he can smash on his baby baby mother. I'm pretty sure that it was an accident. And, and the other hoes who who been over been together this whole time while wow, i just had my first child this all goes to say this man is a fucking coward i'm sleeping after cooking him dinner and all he want to say is i need to go fuck you baby and damn i really should have just listened to the cap ass and about this man i'm gonna learn i'm a girl but this right here ain't it i'm sorry to my baby and that her father is kicking her out her home at three months and then again I know I sound like a broken record, and that was probably loud what I just said, my bad, but why does she keep clapping her, you and the baby now to pack this deal, you know what I'm saying, shorty, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, and number two, why are you sending a plan B to his, see, communication is key, y'all, communication is key, why are you sending a plan B to his crib, so, you know what I'm saying, you can, you can fuck up his other situations, you feel me? Like, I be like, he was giving me signs the whole time that y'all, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I, I'm not, I, I wasn't there 100% of the time, so I can't, I can't even say that maybe he was treating her like his girl, maybe. You feel me? But from what it seemed like is, he wasn't, and she was just not willing to accept the fact that she was not his girl, and he was going to be. He was, you feel me, gonna have multiple women, because he's a rapper, he lives in life, he got money, you know what I'm saying, that's just what people do, rappers do, most rappers do, you feel me, like, that's just how they live, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, because I wouldn't live like that, but that's just like, and that's, that's just what they do, and if he chose to live that lifestyle, and he told you about that lifestyle, and you still try to force a monogamous relationship with him, it's sort of your fault, you feel me, because you knew what he was about, but... I still got some more, uh, my bad, y'all, my bad, I still got some more, some more in here for y'all, oops, y'all got a sneak preview of the next video, but, uh, I showed y'all her point of view, and this was a plan B that she sent to his house, again, <sighs> why would you do that, but, I'm just showing you the behavior, this is what she sent to his house, and then, and then, so, after this happened, after the news got out, the family started getting involved. So, the baby's baby mom's, his, of his oldest child, said something about this situation. And she put, 
Why every time I go viral, this girl gonna post on me? You know where the fuck I am. I've reached out to you to be cordial plenty of times. No one stole your man because he wasn't yours. Watch his interviews. Shit, watch yours. You so motherfucking tight down with him. You can't wait till I leave so he can blank on you. Well, I keep saying blank. I already cuss. Fuck it. So he can fuck on you and the rest of these Charlotte hoes. You just wanted them. He, like he's told me, stop using my name for clout so you can post your period panties if you want to speak on me link. Stop using my name for clout so you can post your period panties. It's crazy. But, um, I didn't get, the, I don't know, hey, the baby's goddamn, like, even a young boy, he keep, he, he motherfucking these hoes, you feel me? Cause, yeah, you know, like, young boy always getting in these situations, you feel me? The baby, he got two Johns that side bitches, you feel me, essentially. Basically, skeezers, thoughts, whatever. He just, he just smashing them. And they both claiming him, but it's crazy. And he, yeah, nah. The baby's going crazy right now with that shit. I'm not, like I said, and I, I gotta say this. I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying that's what he should do. But I'm just saying it's crazy that whatever he doing to these women is, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker just got game, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I wouldn't recommend living life like this. So, I just had to say that. But, uh, yeah, man, that's the end. That's the end of the goddamn podcast episode. You feel me? Um, I gave, uh, you know, you know, I had to say what I had to say in that goddamn video. I, I gave my, my opinions on it. You feel me? So, yeah, man, I just hope everybody that watches learn from this situation. You feel me? And use it to not get into the situation in their life. But, with that, this episode has been long enough, you feel me? But finally, a long video for y'all, full of content. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to wrap it up. So, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the podcast, the episode. Uh, if you enjoy the content I put out, please like, share, all of that. Spread spread the word so we can grow, you feel me? Um, and with that being said, peace out. Have a good night.